A war between Israel and Iran appears inevitable. Israel is weighing its response. Iran is already preparing for the worst. Last night, we told you how Iran's nuclear facilities could be a target. Tonight, we tell you that Iran has temporarily closed its nuclear facilities. Security concern is the reason that's being given. But here's a question. Iran's nuclear facilities are among its biggest assets. Is Iran really capable of defending them? Can Iran defend its nuclear assets from Israeli fire? You see, over the weekend, Israel had its allies defending it. Almost all the drones and missiles that Iran fired were taken down. Not by Israel alone, but with the help of the United States, the United Kingdom and other allied nations, even Jordan shot down some Iranian missiles. But what happens when missiles are being fired at Iran? Who comes to its defense? You see, Iran does not have allies or ironclad brothers who have vowed to defend it. Sure, Iran has proxies, but Iranian proxies depend on Tehran for arms, not the other way around. Also, they don't compare well to Israel's superpower allies. So what happens when Israel fires missiles towards Iran? Earlier this year, just as tensions were rising in West Asia, Iran unveiled two new air defense systems, the Arman anti-ballistic missile system and the Azaraksh low altitude defense systems. Both of these are made in Iran and made by Iran. Let's just talk about the Arman missile system first. Iran claims that this system has a medium range and a high altitude. It can identify targets at 180 kilometers. The target can be engaged and destroyed at 120 kilometers. Now, before I proceed, let me just draw out a map for you. This is West Asia. This is where Iran is. And this is Israel. For any aerial attack, an Israeli weapon will have to travel around a thousand kilometers before it can enter the Iranian airspace. A thousand kilometers. The weapon will have to cross Iraq and Syria. Also Jordan, if it's fired from anywhere except the extreme north. Now, Iran has its proxies in both Iraq and Syria. Will they engage and shoot down an incoming missile from Israel is the question. Do they have the capacity to do so? We don't have the answer to that question yet, but nothing can be ruled out at this point. War, you see, is a game of surprises and uncertainty. The Arman missile system, Iran says, can track 24 targets. It can engage up to 12 targets simultaneously. Arman means aspiration. The system is equipped with Iran's homegrown Syed-3 missiles. It has been developed in two versions. The first version has a passive radar system and the other an active radar system. How many of these systems does Iran have? We don't know. What we can tell you though is that these are mobile systems. The radars and missile launchers can be integrated into a single vehicle. Now, has Iran sent these systems to its proxies in Syria and Iraq as well? Again, we don't know. Let's just talk about the Azaraksh defense system now. This is a low altitude defense system, like I said. It can provide close-in surface-to-air fire. Iran claims that this system also can be mounted on multiple vehicle types. And Iran believes that the Azaraksh system can safeguard Iran's critical and vital facilities from drone and micro-air vehicle threats. The system uses three-dimensional radar system. There is also an electro-optical search system and cutting-edge thermal seekers. Together, they help this system detect and destroy targets at the shortest possible time. And this system is suitable for both day and night operations. Iran also has the Kordat 3 air defense system. It is manufactured by the Aerospace Force of the IRGC. The system is equipped with homegrown missiles. And reports say, in fact, that the, it was the Kordat 3 that Iran had used to shoot down the U.S. Air Force RQ-4A Global Hawk drone in the year 2019. Now, Iran claimed the American spy drone had entered Iranian territory. The U.S. claimed the incident occurred in international airspace over the Strait of Hormuz. 
This was in the year 2019. Today, Iran also has the Kordat 15 missile system. It has been developed by the Iran Aviation Industries Organization. The system was unveiled in 2019. It is equipped with Mac 3 and long-range missiles. The system is capable of intercepting and destroying up to six incoming targets simultaneously. And what kind of targets are we talking about? Fighter jets, cruise missiles, unmanned combat aerial vehicles. Kordas 15 can also detect stealth targets from a distance of 85 kilometers. Now, this is an important point to note here because Israel has stealth fighter jets and Iran claims to have the capacity to detect and destroy these jets. Iran, by the way, also has drones that are designed to intercept incoming targets. The potential of the Iranian drones being on full display at another battleground. Iranian drones have helped Russia inflict damage on Ukraine. Iran has Russia's S-300 anti-aircraft system. It is a surface-to-air missile system. It is fully automated. S-300 S has engaged ballistic missiles, also aircraft. And let me just tell you a little bit about how the system really works. First, the S-300's radar tracks objects over a range of 300 kilometers. The information is then relayed to the command vehicle, which studies the potential target. And based on the analysis, the command vehicle orders the engagement radar to launch missiles. The S-400 can engage up to six targets at once. Iran also has the indigenously produced Syed air defense system. It can intercept aerial threats at a range of over 100 kilometers. Iran's defense ministry claiming it has successfully manufactured a number of surface-to-air missile systems, some of them being Bavar 373, Talash and Mersad. In short, as and when Israel decides to respond, Iran is unlikely to be caught helpless. Tehran does have the means to defend itself, at least on paper. But what happens during the real engagement is hard to say. Because you see, this is uncharted territory. You have Iran and Israel on the brink of a direct war. Never before has the world seen a direct confrontation between the two countries who were friends, remember, a few decades ago, before the revolution in Iran. It is the 16th of April, 2024, and a new red line is being drawn. And it looks like Iran has been preparing for the worst for a while now. It has been holding drills of air defense forces. The latest drill, in fact, was conducted in January this year itself, after its engaged exchange of fire with Pakistan. These drills lasted two days, covered areas stretching from Abadan in southwestern Khuzestan province to Chabahar in southeastern Sistan. Taking part in the exercises were Iran, IRGC, Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, the Army and the Aerospace Force. Iran state media said that during this drill, the Iranian forces employed a new air defense method utilizing drones. Does that mean that as and when Israeli missiles come raining down on Iran, drones will make up Tehran's first line of defense? Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, has said Israel will face painful response if it takes the slightest action. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.